Hello out there, YouTube. I don't know if any of you have ever experienced this on a Razer 900 2015. Complete charging system meltdown. Well, I own two of them. And for the first three years of ownership, I got tired of placing voltage regulators. Just one after another. First two were under warranty. After that, it was an ongoing. And the first problem with the voltage regulators and these, for some reason, some Polaris engineer had the bright idea to mount them down here, right in front of the left rear tire where all the mud and stuff flies in on. So immediately after buying it and having trouble, I bought me a shield for on that voltage regulator. But the shield didn't keep the mud out completely. You still got mud on it and then it got hot because it can't get anything to cool. Okay. Thanks to a very good parts guy and a local Polaris dealership that turned me on to these volt, voltage regulators made by Rick's Voltage Regulators, or Rick's Electric in New York, I ended up getting the problem solved. I'm not going to name names because I don't want to get anybody in trouble as far as that goes. After my wiring harness burn up, I started tearing plastic off and tearing it down to the bare wiring on this razor. And back here, as far as I'm concerned, this was a culprit. For some reason, Polaris decided to go from 10 gauge wire down to 16 gauge wire for this short little distance of this jumper, which I have no idea why it's in there. And then it goes back into 10 gauge wire to the voltage regulator on the that's right in front of the tire, which is definitely not a good idea in the mud. I called Polaris for help. They weren't any help. They just said, take it to the dealer. I told them, okay, thank you. I'll figure this out. So I went online and I found this high temperature wire, which is very important. It's rated at 600 volts, 125 degrees centigrade. That's 257 degrees Fahrenheit. And with the Rick's hotshot voltage regulator, which has eight gauge wire going to it, I went with the 10 gauge high temperature wire and I built myself a wiring harness and moved the voltage regulator up to the firewall with a ceramic heat sink underneath it. I had to spend a little money for the wire and I bought myself a wiring kit with 630 metric pack connectors. Definitely got to get to 630s because it's more heavy duty, it's most heavy duty. I bought the two, two, two wire version for the battery in the ground, and I bought the three pin, uh, I bought the three pin connectors for the wire going up off the stator. Next thing I did was I checked the voltages on all three legs of the, the stator you tell, they, there's a procedure in the uh, service manual to tell you how to do that. And it's 20 volts on the legs of the stator. And that was fine. It was 20 volts right on the money. So I was good there. Now, before everybody says you have too many accessories on this and you're running like, I'm not. The only thing I do, I run the headlights when I'm riding for safety. Other than that, there's nothing. There's no radio. There's no sound bars. There's no heated seats. None of that. Just stock bare bone. So if the electrical system can't handle just running with the headlights on, Polaris better rethink things. Now I had everything in place and I had a plan. I built myself a wiring harness out of that high temperature wire, I ran a spare ground, an extra ground off the, to the whole system. There's one uh, three wire harness and a two wire harness. I, as you can see here, I remounted that voltage regulator up here on the firewall on the ceramic heat sink. Now this was fun because I had two of these to do. My wife and I both had this problem. In fact, hers almost caught fire out in the trail. That's when I really got concerned about this. 
instead of just replacing voltage regulator. I knew there had to be something wrong. So the one thing I did was back here, I'll walk around here, I'm doing this without a tripod or anything. I eliminated that connector that for some reason pliers thought was a great idea. Because the plug was burnt up anyhow, I just cut the ends off and I soldered the, the uh, 630 metric pack connector, the male one, into the uh, stator harness. And then I put female connector on my harness that I was running up underneath the vehicle along the drive line. I wire tied it and I used split loom to put it in. And I ran that up through the inside of the vehicle under the tunnel. Got made sure everything was out of the way, nothing was rubbing, and I brought it up to here. The nice thing about this voltage regulator, it's got a 50 amp fuse on it. So should if there's any problems, you know you got problems. So when I got this up here, I mounted it with this, I put the other connectors. So I, I eliminated a set of connectors. There's, the only connector I have is where it connects to the stator and connects to the voltage regulator. There's no other connectors in there. And I, like I said, I used a 630 metro pack, the real good one in this high temperature wire for both the two, two wire harness and the three wire harness. Okay, now the acid test for this was when I took it out on the trail. And when I took it out on the trail, what I did was I took a thermometer along, a digital thermometer, and I kept taking the temperature every time I'd stop on the wiring harness, front, back, everything. Yeah, it gets hot, but it will. When you're converting AC voltage down to, you know, DC voltage, that's just part of it. You're going to generate heat. That's why you need the high temperature wire, and you need to eliminate as much resistance in the circuit as you can. Now, it's been a little over two years since I did this. Many rides, a thousand miles on both machines, and 135 hours on both machines. Because so usually they ride together, we don't use one without the other. And I have not had one bit of trouble. There's not even discoloration in the wiring harness, and I constantly check it. So, if anybody is having voltage regulator trouble with their 2015 Polaris Razor with that voltage regulator in front of the back wheel, tell you what, instead of getting rid of your machine and getting discouraged, spend a little money, build yourself a harness and put it on there. And I guarantee you, you will not have any more problems. And uh, if I can be any help, just ask me in the comments. I'll try to help anybody that can. But uh, this is what I found. It's working for me times two, and uh, I'm very happy. Old guy out for now.